So we've been having an absolute blast so far building our budget two-stroke 50cc drift cart on the channel. Installing turbos, nitrous, but I think we can all agree this thing looks a little bit janky. We've really been focusing on making this thing go fast, but now it's time to make this thing look the goods. As you can tell if you look closely, a lot of things have just been welded here and there to make this thing structurally sound, but there is a lot of room for improvement with this thing. There's things that have been cracked because we've pushed this thing to the absolute limit. So in this video, this thing is about to undertake a massive transformation and we're we're gonna get to work right now with tearing this whole thing down. Let's go. But would you look at that? She's a bare naked shell. These things are so fun to work on simply because you can do so much in such a short period of time. Like that literally took me 20 minutes to completely strip the whole thing. And now you get a little bit better of an idea of how kind of janky this setup is at the moment and how much we can improve with the whole thing. So I'm gonna start by chopping out everything that we don't want. Cleaning up all of the random crap that we've already cut off. We're also gonna extend the wheelbase while we're here. It's a little bit too short at the moment, which means when we drift it, it's just a little bit snappy. So we'll be able to improve that dramatically simply by shifting the engine back a little bit. So I'm gonna move this back as far as I can and then we'll extend this exactly the same amount as we shift that back. And that's probably gonna extend the wheelbase about 50 millimeters. And on such a small cart like this, it's gonna make a pretty big difference. Also, side note, I know a bunch of you guys are new to the channel. You've seen the cars in the background. I will be doing a bunch of videos on these cars soon. The Datsun 280ZX, the E36 Pro Drift Car and of course the rear wheel drive Evo. You're gonna see that in the next video because we're gonna improve it and we are taking it drifting this weekend as well as taking our cart to the tracks. So we have a lot going on on the channel. But right now, I'm gonna grind everything that we do not need off this frame. So by removing the pre-existing bars and brackets, we're ultimately making the cart lighter, stronger, and faster. But most importantly, we're making it look way better. So after a solid two hours of grinding, cutting, and more grinding, our frame is starting to look a whole lot better. So as you can see, she's bare now. I didn't even think about the fact that cutting weight out of this is actually very essential to the performance. So we're gonna try and make this as light as possible. I also went ahead and modified our knuckles. So now we have absolute maximum lock. I'll probably dial in even a little bit more than that so we have complete freedom with our steering wheel to turn as much lock into the wheels as we possibly can. So the next step is extending the frame. So we have an engine plate here that I cut off the frame and as you can see I've marked with a texture right here where it used to be. I'm gonna shift it back as far as I can. We'll tap that in and then what we'll do is measure this distance here and that's how much we're gonna extend it back here so that the chain still fits nicely on the motor. Then up here, what we're going to do is cut our LCAs right here and shift these as far forward as possible. That's gonna give us another 20 mils of length on our cart. I am so excited to see this thing all one color. And also I just realized I haven't even revealed the color to you guys. Let's extend the frame, then I'll show you the color. Woo! So I quickly test fit the engine to make sure it doesn't foul on the frame before welding the engine plate in its new position. Then we're free to cut and extend the frame. Right. So I should probably let you know the color that we're going to be painting this thing. And of course, it couldn't be anything else. We are definitely going pink. And this is called Gloss Lickety Lick Pink which I think is kind of hilarious. Of course, we're also throwing some sparkle on top of the pink, then we'll gloss clear the whole frame as well. This thing is gonna pop like hell, which is what it's all about. Time to get painting. So I smashed out the final welds on the frame and it turned out awesome. Then I degreased the hell out of the frame, pressure washed it to remove the years of gunk and two stroke oil that were covering this thing, and we were good to go. It's time for paint, let's go. So the frame is painted and it is looking banging. It's crazy what a look of paint will do, but we're about to go one step further with it. The secret sauce is this sparkle paint right here. You can get this from Bunnings, it's 15 bucks and this stuff is rad. Sparkles fix everything. Whoa, that looks sick. Okay. 
This thing has turned out amazing. Look at this. I absolutely love sparkle. It just adds so much to the paint job and it also covers up so many little imperfections. So good. And guess what? That means now we can start reassembling this thing. I gave our front knuckles, steering column, and everything just a lick of silver just to have them stand out a little bit more and clean them up. I'm so freaking excited, man. Let's get this thing together. You. carried away and I kept throwing stuff onto the frame but how good does that look so front axle and everything is all on the silver against the pink looks awesome and then we go around to the back and I've got the back axle on now one amazing thing that I have discovered whilst pulling this whole thing apart was that our bearings and our back axle were absolutely toast when I say toast like gone completely gone they were like seized so it amazes me that the cart went as well as it did but now I've gone and bought new bearings I pressed them into the rear axle and this thing is silky smooth now and I only realized that when I shifted Cam's cart the other day and his was so smooth even when it wasn't on, just rolling it around the shop. I realized there was probably something wrong with mine, but now we've got brand new bearings front and rear. So this thing should technically be a lot faster because it's got less friction in the driveline. But so far, I am absolutely over the moon with how this has come together. Very unexpected result because I didn't expect it to look this good, but that's a win in my books. So I just threw the motor back in the cart and honestly, I'm blown away by how good this looks. I am obsessed with this thing. Are you ready? I'm gonna show you. You ready? Three, two, one. Ooh, how good does that look? Jeez. Night and day difference from when we started. Holy crap. I really wanted to get this thing finished and all back together for you guys by the end of this video. Unfortunately, it didn't quite happen, but I did end up taking a little bit more time on this thing and just paid a bit more attention to detail with everything that we were doing. And I'm happy that we did because the end result is just freaking awesome. We've got a whole lot more we're gonna do with this thing. We're just getting started with it. Once we're done with this 50cc motor, I've seen your comments. We are gonna upgrade the motor. I just wanna stretch the legs of the 50cc first, see what we can get out of her, and then we'll kind of move on from there. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thanks for all your support. You're all freaking amazing. And I'll see you in the next video. You peace. Pink budget drift car, looking not so budget anymore. Hell yeah.